right, hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Pilates Meets the Gym. Woo! I'm Hello. London. Hi, Allison. Hi, LL. How you doing? I'm hot. I'm super pregnant. I'm going to have a baby in five days. Four oh nights. Oh my gosh, five days. Can you believe that, everyone? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. <laughs> a beautiful baby coming into the world, so you know we're going to be posting and all I cannot yeah. wait to see. I'm really excited. I, I am, and all my clients have been so great. I swear every day we get like different little packages and goodies and nice things like that. But I did want to say today is my daughter Aria's sixth birthday. She turned six years old today, so I'm just happy birthday to her. I love her more than happy anything. Happy birthday, Aria. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute. She's like she, a mini Allison. She is a little Allie B. <laughs> she is. All right, so today we we have the topic of fitness. We'll say fitness, fashion, and fun. Yeah. Yes, fitness, fashion. I love it because, you know, it seems like there's always a lot of new brands and labels coming out and you know, how do you how do you pick which one has like, you know, good, you know, you can look good in front of a camera with it, but which one really works out with you well at the gym? Yep. And definitely there's, you know, for people like Laura and I, we have ones that we wear more for a camera versus more for actual training, and some can transfer to the camera and to training. So, Laura, I know that you have a lot of great East Coast stuff, so why don't we start with you and talking about like your top picks for um, in the gym? Oh, okay. Well, just like you said, there's some things I wear for a photo shoot and some things I can't because I don't want everything falling out at the gym. But I just did an interview with two uh, amazing mompreneurs, Lainey and Lisa from Feel. And I got to show you what they sent me because this is, I love this outfit. Check out these cheetah pants. Cute. They are like wearing pajamas. They are so comfortable. And this, the feather logo. Oh. And these, they do not move. You see this nice waistband? It stays yeah. put. You can bend. You can move. And it's keeping everything in. So. Oh, I love that. I'm going to have to check that out. You know, after having a baby, you, you need some things to help. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's like a it's like, psh, shapes everything. Yep. Sculpts. Yes. I'm, I'm a fitness wear fanatic. I love wearing different bright colored, different pattern things to the gym. Always. Yeah, you always have cute outfits at the gym. I have a whole pile of them over here to show you guys. That's great. And for me, like, I, in the past year, I have, you know, gotten into some of the Lululemon stuff, although I'm not a runner. But for me, one of my go-tos, like, for years and years and years, but you kind of have to search it out, is I really like to wear Victoria's Secret to the gym. You know, a lot of, like, the velour track suits and things, because I live in Oregon, so it's not as hot as where you are. Right. Um, especially in the fall and winter. I love the velour track suits and I love, um, like honestly, sometimes they'll come out with like workout leggings and things like that, but it's kind of seasonal. And so I really have always liked a lot of the Victoria's Secret yes. uh, workout clothes. So that's kind of one thing I've always done. And they always have really good sales like online. If you spend $100, you get like, you know, $40 off. And so it's really not a $100 purchase and things like that. And so I love that. Um, and what I've really noticed as far as being a woman, even working out in like the Victoria's Secret bras, even if they're not like on like non-cardio days, if you're lifting, they really hold everything into place. Uh, yeah. The full coverage, the full cup ones, not the demis. Um, and I and I love that. And so <laughs> I got, I got both. So yeah. So tell us like especially because you always have these cute little half tops. What half top brands do you like to wear, Laura? Uh, well, I've got another one here. This is an awesome company, and you you mentioned. Um, one of the companies I have, is they're called Ellie, and they have all sorts of different, I don't know if you can really get the real gist of this, but it's got a, this nice cutout here in the back. Yeah. They have a program where you can pick two different pieces of fitness wear every month, and I believe it's like, it's, it's a crazy, ridiculous, inexpensive price. I'm going to put the link down here. It's right. like $45. I mean, they have them. They have collections that come out each month, a different collection, and you can pick two pieces, and they're wonderful. They sent me some, some of the tops here. So here's another one. This is a nice raspberry and white yeah, one. That's, that's and then cute. they have matching pants. So, like, this might be my, co my collection for the month. 
and it's really a very reasonable price and really great quality. So that's where I get a lot of my, my other tops. Another one I love is Body by Brazil. Body by I Brazil, like Janine. That. Yeah, Janine's Just, awesome. Look at this one. This I have so cute. Every color. I, this is the spider top. This one, red, pink, black, blue, you name it. I've got Do that. you know what's funny about Body by Brazil is I ordered like quite a few pairs of like pants slash leggings from them last year for a photo shoot. Ended up going with a totally different theme for the photo shoot and still have not even taken the tags off them yet and then I got pregnant. So I was like, <laughs> okay, it's going to be an awesome day in 2014 when I put on my body by Brazil because it's such unique, unique. Oh. I mean, you just look like hot when you wear those Stand clothes. Out, colorful and hot. These are from Body by Brazil. Yeah. These are my Pepto-Bismol and my grape pants. So I love those. And you can mix and match. That's the beauty of it. I always say, you know, you should feel good when you go to the gym. If you're going in sweatpants and a baggy top, you're not going to get that same feel. You need to, and you don't have to wear, you know, something so fitted, but you need to feel good and feel good about yourself all the time. And yeah, and you're definitely like, you're, you're a person who, you know, you wear the half tops and things. I, I just wear like fitted tank tops and pants. And I have to tell you just from a Pilates standpoint, when you're in the gym in clothes that are at least more tailored to your body, again, they don't have to be as tight as Laura or myself wear, um, you're going to stand with better posture in the mirrors. You're going to have better form when you work out. You're going to hold your abs in because yes. if you're standing there with a big baggy shirt and sweatpants, you're probably not thinking about all the little muscles. Even if you're doing a bicep curl, your abs right. should be in. You should have good posture, etc. Right. So having good workout clothes is a big part of having a successful workout plan. Yeah. For me, they're like my, like my suits. They're my business clothes. Uh -huh. So I... Uh, I have a company also that I just bought some some things from that I know you're going to really love. Look at this one. This is by Kira Grace. Oh my gosh, I think I thought, oh, I didn't bring my red ones here. But I'm known for doing like things with cutouts on them. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, let Down the leg of these. Yeah. I have red ones that have cutouts. These are so comfortable. This is a, a, a top. Look at this one. This has the cutouts going down the sides. Cute. Which is really beautiful. And I like these. I have one on here. They're extra long. So they are really nice to they, you know, yeah. they just form the whole body. I like so the extra fun. long tank tops, especially when you're doing, you know, yeah. shoulder presses or, you know, inverted abs or anything like that. It kind of, you know, again, keeps you covered. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to flopping out and flying around but it's nice they're figure flattering and they're really really comfortable that's great and of course we can't forget some of our top picks as our exercise our right to be sexy tanks and what other ones we have our Pilates Barbie tanks which are on my website I'm, I'm not able to fit into mine right now tell us how yeah you have a lot of different tanks Allie tell me all your different tanks I oh I, I don't have that pink one oh, yet we gotta send you a pink one yes <laughs> Me and Icebox always wear your shirts. Um, I have the Vegan Glam, which is green on green. I, I have that. the Pilates Superstar, which is super cute. Um, today is your tomorrow. Yes. Be proud what's on your plate. And Pilates Barbie. I think that's all. Oh, and I put the P in performance because I do put the P oh, in performance. Oh, love it. Love <laughs> it. Yes, you guys have got to go check out all of Allison's shirts. They are great. I need a whole collection oh. of them. I'll put them on the wall, I think. <laughs> I know. I need to get you some. We've had a little bit of issues with our um, manufacturing people, which you know in shirts that it's like they're here one day, they're gone the next, and it's it's been kind of a little hassle. But I'm really proud of the designs we've came up with, and those won't be changing. Yeah. I think um, another thing that – and, you know, I'm a total accessories girl. So I can show up, you know, five days a week at the gym and all fitted black wear. But I love – bracelets and earrings and things that are functional in the gym, but one of my favorite things of all time in my whole fitness career is the G-Loves. Oh, the G-Loves. So let's talk about, so look at these. Hedda Royce, who is amazing, um, a friend of, fitness friend of mine, she made these for me. They are yellow trim with pink zebra. Look how, those are so you. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> and you know, when you walk into a gym and, and you go and you lift weights with these things, like people know you're, you're serious. You're going to get down to business. Yeah. And then, um, you know, and I have like, so I have like 20 pairs of these and then I have like the purple lace. Oh, love those. Look at and that. she has you. She has you measure your hands, and I think it's on the website of how to do it, so that you get, like, a really good fit. And then these are my newest ones. I haven't been lifting very much during pregnancy, so I still have the tag on them, but oh they're the one love. They're the Rastafarian, because I love reggae music, especially in the love summer. That. love those. And they have changed the grip since the ones with my pink and yellow, and they're even better. I mean, G-Loves is always um, improving... And, and asking for feedback. And they have, you know, people from, like, fitness models to, like, top, you know, Olympian athletes wearing these gloves. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not just um, something that they take lightly. They always want feedback. They recently right. came out with some men's gloves. My husband has the, I think it's the 360. Um, really just, they are the top of the line gloves. And they're the cutest gloves, and they're vegan yes, on top of that. I know, which we love, so no cruelty there. And, um... You know, she's somebody that if you emailed her and said, you know, I want to do something custom or I, I want to, you know, I want to give you a tip or a hint on how this could be better. Yes, Laura, London could have her own G-Loves line. I'm pretty sure I see that. So, <laughs> so they're really, really awesome. And their links are all over todayisyourtomorrow.com. And well, we're going to put them yeah. here on the video, too. Yeah, so put that um, link through my site on the video. And, and I just, I love them. Like, I have... You know, leopard print with pink, leopard print with red camo, different lace ones. I mean, now they're coming out with a Swarovski crystal. They did a whole oh. 80s retro line. Like, Gotta they're, have I'm it. an 80s girl, so. Gotta have it. Yes. They're the best ever. They're the best oh, ever. Love it. And and I, I always wear the gloves, so. Yeah. You gotta, gotta have those. Yeah. I have another thing here that I really love are headbands, because they're another way to dress up your outfits. I don't know if you guys can see that. Cute, yeah. This is by, um, I'm going to show you, Julia Rose. I have a whole collection. I've got the pink and the zebra so that we can we can match the gloves with the head. Yes. She's got green. Love it. She's also one of our sponsors for the Fit and Fabulous Mom Contest. So all the moms went home last year with headbands in their gift bags. So I love these. Keep the sweat, keep the hair out of out of your face while you're working out. That's another great thing. That's great. And I've always like I always feel like I have an issue with like headbands really like hurting behind my ears and stuff. So you don't have that issue with those? These are really, really comfortable. They're soft. You can make it like small. I don't know. And you can open it and widen it up. So if you want that wide kind of um kind of look. That's another look. Cute. Yeah, they're really, really cute. Really cute. Yeah, when I see people like jumping around the gym with headbands and I'm like, I just must not be getting the right headbands because they don't work for me. <laughs> These stay all. put. I can't wear the like the, the hard kind. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. And I have a lot of that just because honestly Aria and I share a lot of our accessories. I know that seems ridiculous, but yes, I wear Hello Kitty headbands. So <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> Barbie. <laughs> So, yeah, but no, I'll check those out because I've tried, like, the rubber ones that mm -hmm. kind of go around and mm -hmm. they don't really work for me. Yeah, so I would definitely slip. check those out. So we'll definitely put all these links under the under the the video. And what about top picks for um, shoes? Do you have top picks for shoes? Okay. I have to admit, everybody, I have a sneaker problem. Some people like purses, sneakers. I just happen to have a little bit... I don't know if anyone's seen my uh, my uh -oh. photo. I have a, literally laundry baskets. There's my. I I put mine in laundry baskets too. My polka dot pair, my purple pair. I just brought a couple of my favorites. Wow, I love those. But this and and Nike. I love Nike. These are Saucony. I can't say. I don't think I say that right. But these right here are my my babies. I or those Asics? Yes, love Asics. Look at all the different colors there. Every time I, I wear these, people six. are like, "Oh wow!" So yes, I'm a sneakeraholic. I admit it. 
I love ASICs. I I find that for plyometrics, um, it has been the best for my knees because I have weird knees from ballet, mm -hmm. from years of ballet. But I have to say, I have quite a few clients who in Southwest work at the Nike World Headquarters. Mm -hmm. And I have actually one that works at the Adidas World Headquarters, too, because both those are in um, the Portland metropolitan area. And, you know, the Nike, both, both brands are great, but the Nike um, has lots of great, they just came out with this, this shoe called a studio shoe and it almost mm -hmm. looks like a ballet shoe. It wraps around the ankle, looks very wow. balletic wow. and um, super cute. Again, I'm not testing a lot of stuff right now because I'm just not at my normal anything right. with, with <laughs> being pregnant this year. Um, and then you know what I find like with Adidas is that that goes more into like, I love the white and gold. I love the classic, you know, three stripe Adidas stuff, but I like yes. it more for like shoots and videos versus, yes. you know, hitting, hitting the gym hard. They're nice clean and classic. I remember I had my, I wanted these so bad in high school. They were, everybody had them white with the green stripes. That yes. was like the shoe to have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Adidas is, is just really iconic with that shoe, yes. with the stripes. So I love that. But um, yeah, both companies are out here, but I really, for plyometrics, truthfully, I'm, I'm not going to lie. You know, I love ASICs. I really well, do. Well, I just did, um, actually plyometrics today at the gym in my workout this morning. I was using the TRX and jumping and then squatting, jumping and squatting. And I had my ASICs on my legs, my yeah. legs felt the jumping, but my knees, that's I great. Fine. So yeah, they're really great for plyometrics. I love it. And if you guys have any questions about, you know, um, Anything you think that we would like or that you want us to do another review on, let us know. Um, I know that we're both definitely, Laura and I both love the glam, but we have totally different styles. And so, you know, if you have, you know, anything that you think Allie B or Laura would like, let us know. Yeah, definitely. I have I have two other things here that I want to share with any everybody. Yes. And I know water. We need to hydrate when we're at the gym. So important. Hydrate Are you going to show our bottle? Throughout the day. I have two of my top picks of my the bottles that I like. Here they are. Yay! This one is from Life Factory. This is actually a glass bottle. Allie B went home with my, my blue one <laughs> when did. she came to visit. These yes. are great to take everywhere. I um, love that bottle. Yeah, I bring it in the car. And then this is by Clean Canteen. This is another one. These are stainless steel. And yeah. they have a whole different selection of sizes and like um, different kinds of caps you can put on them. Right. So those are another great uh, thing that I always bring to the gym. And sometimes I get made fun of because my water bottle will match my outfit. Oh, my God. I know. I'm I okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally okay with that too. Let me ask you this because um, I, I'm asked this when I take my blue bottle to the gym is how do you wash your bottle? I just um, either hand wash it or top row it in the um, dishwasher, but how do you do it? Yeah, I will. most of the time it's hand wash, but sometimes mm -hmm. I'll put green powder in here and that tends to stick yep. on it. So that's when I'll use a bottle brush and you can, you can throw them through the dishwasher like you said, but on the top rack. Top shelf, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, and I honestly, I mean, I love like the cigs and the clean canteens, but I don't know, like, and the past two years, I feel like I was a little more sensitive to like the steel or aluminum that they're using. Mm -hmm. I think they're aluminum, right? Uh, they're think stainless steel. Stainless steel, those ones are okay. I think yeah. the cigs might be aluminum. Yeah, Maybe no, I'm no. off on that. They're not. No. Okay. Regardless, I feel like it's taste change the taste of my water a little mm -hmm. bit. I know a lot of people don't have that issue, but if you are like me and sensitive to that, mm -hmm. um, definitely go with the glass. Mm -hmm. And the glass bottles that um, Laura and I have also have different cap options. Yes. They have one that has like a more of like a sippy cup, like, like a little it. kid's one, super cute. Yeah, they have a so, flip. Yeah, so, and you can get those at like Whole Foods or, you know, New Seasons in Oregon. Um, where did you get yours at? This Do you one know? I actually got online from lifefactory.com straight from them um so that's oh you know what speaking of that and glass I, I i'm just showing you guys what i use i can't help it this is my my glass straw actually i just pulled out of my drink I here love that. but these are by straw some straw and i don't know if you can see that the beautiful design on the top they have this is a smoothie straw so this one's really thick Mm -hmm. But I love glass straws. I don't know the, the number of straws that are, you know, thrown away every year, but it's, it's, whoa, it's way too many. 
So. You know, and my I have to say I'm not as good about this as I should be because I still like, you know, if I'm out busy, forgot my stuff, I still buy water. I still buy, I'll go to Starbucks and get filtered water from them. Um, and it's true. It creates so much garbage when if you could just get a glass bottle or, you know, a cig or something like that and, and use that. It is, it is way better. My husband's really good about that. I am, I need to take a lesson from him. You know, him. it's hard because we're out on the road a lot and you know it sometimes we need water we need to go and get it and we get it at the convenience store but when we're at home these are definitely things that we can do and we can cut down on all you know the carbon footprint everywhere I found straw some straw just surfing on Facebook I found them and I love them they actually have a case and you can put it in your purse and take it with you that is so yeah. cute. Really cute so you'll have to put those links for sure definitely and yeah, I think that this is this is all great stuff and we wanted to do one on fashion and kind of like what we like and what our top picks are. So um, it will definitely be about a month before we do another Pilates Meets a Gym. But <laughs> I wonder I, why. I, I know. But we will be doing them. I'm taking three months off from everything except for my online program and, and there's no reason that um, we won't stop Pilates Meets a Gym either. So mm -hmm. We will be doing one in about four weeks, and I just I hope that everybody has a good rest of their summer, and that you do, Laura, because I know that you've been really trying to hit the gym hard, even with your back issues, and you know it happens. Like injuries happen, and and they're hard. You got to stay, you know, you you got to stay mentally um, happy or mentally, you know, support in your support system with people because it's hard. Injuries can be really depressing, and. Very. And, you know, when you have, I know when I've had injuries and I can't work out, especially with that one back when I had a few years ago, also, it's like people start to make comments, you know, like, oh, you're not, you're not your normal self. It's like, I'm not my normal self. I can't function the way I normally do. And right. so, you know, really just, just keep doing, you know, your best, Laura, because I know that it's been a hard one for you and you look great. So thank you. Clean eating. Clean eating. <laughs> Clean It'll keep eating. that shape for you. <laughs> All right, Allison, we all wish you the best. We cannot meet, wait to meet the new baby and see photos. And yes. just all the best to you and your family. Oh, thank you so much. And happy birthday, Aria. Happy birthday. <laughs> all right, everybody, we will see you again next month. And Pilates meets the gym. Bye. Bye-bye.